ipon dyan. Oh, oh. Sabi niya, Your pag may day ka, pinaka, ano yun, ingatan nyo is 3 to 5 minutes, bawal may matay sa inyo. Ah, ganun lang yung oh, The whole team yun, ah, the whole team uh, yun. So, may, ano, anong background, pick-up. bakit? How does that snowball the league? Ah, uh, tao dito, mas makaka-move kasi siya eh. Kasi pag hmm. once na may namatay sa inyo, kailangan niya mag-rotate doon to clear the wave. Hmm. Pero kung nakaka-move siya ng freely, hindi niya kailangan intindihin yung every other lane na kailangan niya i-clear. Ah, so, okay. mas madali siya makakaikot. Ah, okay, ah, okay. No, no. Actually, the, the thing about link pa is, aside from the kills, aside from the wave clears, is scout. Your team oh, oh, is info. picking. So, the mobility talaga was talaga that. Now, we have Rainers. another five picks here set up para sa first rotation ng, ng drop natin bago tayo mag-ban. We got Anana, okay? We got the Uranus once more, mga headliners ng MPL Season 5. Maring M, what are your thoughts on this? My thoughts on this, first of all, I like that Diggy pick na first secure ng Sun Sparks. Mm -hmm. Kitang kita dito, gusto nilang i-utilize. Actually, hindi lang uh, pag uh, tanggal ng crowd control tong Diggy. There's a crowd control that this Diggy can provide, right? Mm -hmm. uh, through his second skill. Eh, makikita natin doon, possible, itong malikot na link, pwede niyang pigilan. Anytime na madaanan niya lang yung Diggy. So, I guess, uh, respeto doon sa fun. first pick ng Sun Spark. I'm liking that one. What about you, Prop B? Your take? Para sa, sa Digi or sa mm. ibang ano? Actually, dun sa draft, no, we got the Digi, we got the Nana there on both sides. Split siya. I'm eyeing may carry pang available eh, oh. sa totoo oh, lang. Actually, Just to protect for Digi. Yung uh, pick na team Uranus para sa akin. Nakita ko si Kayla Wash eh. Mm. Pag nag Uranus, sobrang lalim. As in, may part, ko, may part na laro ang Sunsparks yung pumupunta siya right in front sa loob ng base mismo. Yes, yes. Buhay oh. pa yung mga tour just to cut the two lanes. Mm. Tapos magre-react lang yung buong uh, team para habulin siya tapos magbibigyan lang space. Yun yung kailangan ingatan dito ng STI kasi eh, alam naman natin pag uh, ano pabilisan talaga eh which is doon magaling ang Sunsparks. May eh. bad feeling ako kay Yuri na si feeling ko man nerf. Feeling ko rin may kasi sabay na flame shot din. Kasi grabe yung ano eh gra hindi hindi naman siya may way clear na decent eh. Okay naman eh. Pero yung talagang idea lang na mabablock lang ng ano ng isang lane without with very minimal risk. Na paper tapos, wish lang. Oh, tapos kapag tinarget mo siya, that's the plan eh. Oh, diba? Actually, lalo na yung sustain pa ni Uranus. Yes. Uh, alam natin, early game time, nagpo-provide nags na yun ng sustain. Eh, what more sa late game? So, grabe talaga. But for the meantime, I think makikita rin natin dito, siguro sa lineup ng STI, I think they need uh, to work on uh, something na para hindi sila maset upan nitong Sun Sparks. Kasi so far, ang ganda eh. Meron tayong Selena dito, lalo na pag Selena, yes, na yes, nag-connect uh, nag yung arrow yes, niya. Uh, Pwedeng pumasok doon, sasabayan ni Uranus. And then the, the rest of the damage will follow. Your team yes. is kicking. Actually, ay ko meron silang shred eh, sa side ng STI. Eh. Pero para lang sa Uranus. Pero siguro wala na talaga. I-ignore na lang nila yata yung Uranus, no? And deal with the other members Pwede. ng Sunsparks dito. I was eyeing the carry. Oh. Pero we're going to the Granger. What is this? Bakit may Granger tayo ngayon? Para pang burst early. Kasi meron silang okay. early uh, para sa dito. So mm. most likely, ang pinakamaagang pumapalag ng Marksman eh, is a Granger compared oh, sa yes, carry, yes. di ba? Uh -oh. And uh, wala naman silang problema daw for early clash. Kasi meron silang digi na kaya mag-alaga. Mm. So, bomba-bomba lang. Then, um, kung may lalapit man, saka, or set up sila, then dito nakabang si Green. Okay, we have the full draft set in from B and Kaisaya. So, with this draft, Game 1 of STI versus Sunspark, what is your vote for the result? I think I'm gonna go for Sunsparks kasi nakita natin yung final draft ng F STI. It's missing mm -hmm. a marksman and right now, alam natin sa current meta, fast clear wave, going for objectives are very important right now. Para sa akin, I'll go for uh, Sunsparks as well, the, the Diggy. Yun, yun talaga yung susi, yung nakita ko first pick. Medyo mahihirapan talaga rotation dito na STI. Okay. I'll be voting for STI. <laughs> 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 Dahil hindi 100% win rate ang kahit anong team. Yun, yun alamang exactly. muna para sa parang sacrifice vote. Ladies and gentlemen, maraming salamat for your insights on that game number one. We're gonna be passing it on sa ating mga casters. You guys, take it away. Maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga <laughs> Virus. No type of virus can stop. The MPL from happening. This is game number one of the MPL season three. We are now at week three. It is SDI versus Sun Sparks. We are your shoutcasters, the double M combination, Midnight and Manjin. How are you, Midnight? I'm fine. I mean, I'm healthy and I have no sickness, so let's go with the game. Let's I'm, do it. Yeah, I'm really excited about this game because I want SDI to finally bounce back. They, they've had a rough week uh, before them, and I think they have a fair chance here yes. against Sun Sparks. We've talked about it before. This is not the best uh, draft that Sun Sparks has given to us, but I do yep. think it still favors the, the uh, red side of this game. I quite agree with you right there because I think the main story for uh, this series is that STI, the uh, STI, when can they bounce back? Yeah. Uh, they don't have uh, this certain type of play style as other teams right now. But let's see, this is a very unusual draft from them coming in from uh, you because I think they were baiting the Sparsa support yeah. 
or probably a Farsa carry right here, but let's see. And that's the thing about STI, they've uh, placed UG, they've relegated him into the position for support, mm -hmm. which is uh, usually dominated by the Mages pool here. So it's very interesting for STI to, to run this kind of lineup. But let's go ahead and introduce our team okay. here. STI on the blue side, we have Kripsu on the Ling, Nixu on the Basia, Lambot as the Nana with Hold That Thought, Kilowash here on the top lane, being gone on by three heroes from STI, but it's very, very tanky. Yeah, but uh, continuing the hero rundown here, you have JP as the Granger, Kelby J as this Harriet Kiluash as the Uranus, Reflesha, Diggy, and Greed as the Selena. Going back to what happened on that top lane skirmish, this is I, uh, the Uranus meta right now that yeah. we are seeing in the past few games of the MPL. Having this type of hero is so tanky yeah. and, can, and ha actually has a good mobility as well. You need two heroes to stop him. Yeah. You need an ultimate burst or probably one that can hold them out. Look at this. Three heroes committing everything in the top lane. That is the first blood for you. Coming in from SDI. Well, but there's the counter go from JP's Granger. Immediately going to the top lane and getting the uh, getting the revenge kill. Yeah, I don't really like how uh, Kilowash is playing the Uranus right now. He has a Purify, which doesn't make sense. Yes, there's a yep. Jawhead on the lineup of SPI, but you could definitely end up, uh, you know, tanking more damage if you had the Vengeance there, because Kilowash just melted yep. uh, with the Nana ultimate, with the Nana damage there. And I think he just wants to answer the pushing capability of SDI, because if you're going to look at the minimap right now, Sunsparks actually got the first tier tower first yeah. in the bottom lane. So th right now for the side of the defending champions, you have this certain type of switch that is the Uranus, Kilowash going to the bottom lane, and JP now on the top lane wants to uh, farm and funnel all the gold for Mr. JP having of course the Bounty Hunter and now the Raptors Machete. Yeah, indeed, and Sunsparks, I really like this play. They switch lanes, they ha they want to utilize the Granger and yep. they had it on the same air, but the problem is the Farsa is Ooh. in front of Sunsparks. It's very hard to get away from this kind of damage. Ooh. The arrow hits the Nana and he is going to transform in a bit with the kill, the traps. The delayed damage was able to secure the kill Solid. on Lambot. That's a very interesting mechanic, the delayed damage yes. from the trap. It's all about the traps right here from uh, Team Sunsparks. You have the Selena traps and you have the stars from Digi. Plus, you have all of these flame shots yep. in your arsenal. This is an easy setup for Team Sunsparks to get this uh, turtle, but right now, Dogman is answering. Kiluwash tanking up all of the damage. That is the Feathered Air Strike coming in from UG, but no casualties whatsoever. KLBJ? Is this the counter go from KLBJ? The turtle is running low. Ultimate coming Ooh. in from the back shot. The Digi will get the joy. There you go. Swords of Revealing Light from the Ling, but still, it's JP's Granger who is victorious in getting two kills. Sunsparks will win that skirmish. And this is the problem of STI's lineup. You have a carry Ling. Mm -hmm. And the other damage out the out the other damage source is the far side. The thing is if Sunsparks, if they're able to get out from the Feathered Airstrike, there's no real damage that is gonna gonna come yeah. out from the Ling. Yes, you can use your ultimate. Remember that is a Harith and a Uranus. Yeah let's look no, at the yeah. you can't burst somebody down on the side of Sunspot. Let's look uh, at the replay right here. I, I think I'm agreeing with you right here. In terms of pickoffs, you have this team of STI that can burst you down because of the lockdowns that the Farsa, the Jawhead, and the Baksha has. Yeah. But uh, in terms of 5-on-5 five five type of team uh, gameplay, 5-on-5 five five, uh, rumble, you really need Sunsparks to group up for you to land yeah. all of your damage. And this is Ling, of course. One of the main uh, style to play Ling is just you need to be very safe in the first few minutes of the game yep. and get your items going, probably get your power spike before you enter, before you join team yeah. fights. And this is where SDI's lineup fail because the thing is Ling, he wants the early game skirmishes. He wants as much as possible to be able to snowball yeah. out of control from this game. Problem is you're facing the same lineup. It's a Granger and a Harith, and yeah. you lack damage. You can't really fight into Sunsparks lineup, and your only solution is just pick off skirmishes. But yeah. Sunsparks, they're not giving it, they're not giving that to SDI. They're grouping up as five. They want to take objectives as five, and they want to take Turtle as five. I, I do agree with you, but right now, guys, we're having a little bit of pause right here, making sure that our teams has uh, the best, uh, the best type of. Uh, 
um, connection in their uh, in their uh, yeah, phones. Yeah, like SDI yeah. bootcamp. And <laughs> no, we're just kidding. We're just, <laughs> yeah, kidding. We're just kidding. But I I agree with you because in terms of pickoffs, you have this fast-paced style.